Hello and welcome everyone. If you are new to this channel, then my name is Amit Patel and you are watching Musings with Software Engineers. For freshers, which programming language is easy to learn uh, from mechanical background? Uh, Sanjay, I don't know which programming language has been covered because I know that all engineering, uh, all field of engineering have some programming language which is covered. Usually it is C, C++ or sometimes it is Java. Okay. Nowadays people are, uh, some colleges are also teaching Python. Okay. But the best programming language to learn is either C Sharp, Java, Java, core Java I'm talking about or Python. These are the best programming languages to learn to start your career as a programmer for freshers. Okay, uh, C sharp is also good. Java is also good. If you learn either C sharp or Java, okay, then it will cover most of the industry. If you learn Python, you will get job in some of the companies which are new in the market who are using Java as a program. Uh, sorry, Python as a programming language. Is that okay? But these three are the uh, best programming languages to learn. Okay. The second thing is there is nothing easy. It is all about practice. Okay. You have to learn something till it becomes easy for you. No programming language is easy to learn even for computer science students, even for students who have studied computers in schools or uh, in, in 11, 12th, it's not easy. Okay. See, if you are a mechanical engineer, you already understand logic, right? If you are designing a machine, which is a more complex thing. Okay. You have to use your logic. You have to design, you have to follow the principles of physics. And on the basis of that, you have to design this machine. Correct. And then the machine will work the way uh, you have designed it in the same manner programming language is same it's only you are building a digital machine okay within a, within any program within any application there are small small part and you are programming each part just like if you are designing a car and you have to make sure that you have to decide how the excel will be on on both the wheels Okay, and if there is a wheel which is going to turn and there is a steering wheel which is going to turn these wheels, then you have to decide that how much angle to give on the basis of that everything that is that all the parts are designed in that manner. In the same manner, software development works. Correct. In case of software development, we are building an application. Most of the application you are using like a Amazon or a Swiggy, Zomato or Netflix, Amazon Prime, uh, any YouTube, Facebook, okay, any application that you are using, maybe you are using your bank application, okay, but this entire application is built from small, small parts. One button is one part, you click on that button, it does only a particular thing, okay. And to be able to write that particular thing, you need a programming language. Okay. To build your machine in uh, mechanical engineering, you need the understanding of physics and you need understanding of how to build this machine. You need understanding of components and materials and everything, right? In the same manner for programming, you need understanding of a programming language and how to use this programming language to decide each part within an application okay not very different it's all about logic okay so it is not easy to learn a programming language for anybody but you have to learn till it becomes easy i am from electronics background so in college i did not learn programming i had just one programming language uh, c programming language which was taught to us in college I learned everything afterwards, correct? And initially I just used to read books on programming, but when I actually sat down to program, I started learning the real thing about programming.
okay so as you start learning as you start doing simple examples and start understanding how this works you will understand different parts of programming and that will make it easy for you to do programming okay so learning programming is not easy but you have to learn till it becomes easy okay and this message is for everyone everyone who asks me uh, what is easy there is nothing is easy it's you learn it so that it becomes easy okay initially everything will be having the same complexity is that okay if i see mechanical engineers design a machine to me that will be very complex because i don't know how it is done but if i see an electronics engineer design a circuit board and put some chips on it and then he creates some electronic device i'll be able to understand that because i am electronics engineer and i have done this in college i know what it means i know what does when when there is a chip inside uh, a, a circuit board this chip will have various functions and this circuit will have various places through which this functions will be designed okay and there will be places where you will put some switches which will on and off certain functions and whatever that chip is designed for correct so if i look at that i will understand that because i have studied that but did i know that before becoming an engineer no okay so at present mechanical has become easy for you because you spent 4 years in mechanical engineering same way with programming you have to start learning programming and make it easy for you friends all of you who are still watching this video okay like this video and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel then subscribe now and press the bell icon so that you don't miss any updates you can come on next thursday and join me live thank you very much see you in the next live